is Christina really possessed? While it's not a Netflix original, The Old Ways could prove to be a hit on the streaming service as the possession horror delivers the chills. The horror premiered at Sityu's Film Festival last year and centers on Mexican-American reporter Cristina Lopez, Bridget Cali Canales, who heads back to her hometown of Veracruz for a story on the local culture. However, before she can complete what she came to do, Cristina is kidnapped by two locals who claim that she's possessed by a demon. Before she's allowed to leave, she must be exercised, and, though she doesn't believe them, she starts to realize they may be telling the truth. Didn't you go to school in Mexico City? We're about to head into some major spoilers about the old ways ending to explain just what's happened to Christina, so look away now if you haven't seen the movie yet. The movie opens with the exorcism of a mother as her daughter watches on, and we later realize that this was Christina's mother. It didn't go as planned, and her mother died, leading to Christina being put into foster care and moving away from Veracruz. Christina is already chained up by Javi, Sal Lopez, and his mother Luz, Julia Vera, and she soon realizes that her cousin Miranda, Andrea Cortez, is involved too. Christina was found at La Boca, a place that Miranda told her never to visit as it was not safe. Luz is a bruja who practices the old ways, and when she looks into Christina's eyes, she supposedly sees a demon. Breathe. As Christina is put through several stages of the exorcism, in order to get the demon to show itself, she starts to see a little boy outside, remember this, and other weird stuff. However, it's not initially clear whether Christina is actually seeing things because she's possessed or because she's going through drug withdrawal. Flashbacks show she was addicted to drugs and unhappy in her life, and her unintentional captivity means she's run out of what she brought with her. This is very dangerous. Christina realizes that the only way she could have been captured at La Boca, a place where nobody goes, was if Miranda had found her. She admits she did it, but only to save Christina before La Boca could consume her. Perfect. You go back to Los Angeles? In their argument, Christina scratches Miranda, remember this too, and Miranda tells her it's the work of the demon. After a gruesome psychic surgery, where teeth are pulled out of her stomach, Christina tries to escape by knocking out Javi. However, she accepts that she's possessed when she's physically unable to go outside due to the salt line across the doorway. Christina starts to read up on the demon that Luz believes is in her cold post -Eki, the death god of broken things. La Boca is the place where broken souls go to be consumed by the demon, and she admits to Miranda that she went to La Boca to kill herself. She doesn't want to die anymore, though, and persuades Luz to carry out a dangerous exorcism ritual called the Broken Man, where she'll effectively be crucified, via magic, essentially, to the floor to draw the demon out. During the ritual, Christina sees La Boca again, and the little boy that she's seen around but realizes nobody else has seen him, he's a manifestation of the demon. The ritual is a success and the demon is drawn out, although Luz has to sacrifice herself to destroy it for good. All is well, right? It's never that simple. Miranda starts to act funny when Christina says she's going back home and they realize that the demon didn't go away, it just went into Miranda instead, those damn scratches. Luz was the last person who knew the old ways, so all hope seems lost. However, during her broken man ritual, Christina was slashed over her eye by the demon, and she can now see demons like Luz could. She starts to perform the same ritual on Miranda, before she understands that the demon wants Miranda to suffer as it feeds on the darkness of pain, you need me to hurt her. Christina stops the ritual to try and starve the demon inside Miranda. It draws post -Eki out and Christina faces it down, pulling out its heart which Miranda stabs to finally kill the demon for good. The final scene of the old ways sees another American captured in La Boca and brought to be exercised. It's Christina's boss Carson, A.J. Bowen, who went looking for her when she didn't return, although it's fair to say he didn't expect to see her as the new Bruja who's taken the place of Luz. Christina looks into his eye and spots a demon, although he obviously doesn't believe it. We're not good at this, but we're gonna get better, she promises.